What's up everybody? My name is Lunchbox and today I'm messing around on GTA 5 looking at these spaceships getting the best view I've ever got and um, some of you might be wondering how it's possible. How could I just be hanging out here with such a great view of this spaceship Check, uh, just checking out the view and the answer is simple I used an awesome Grand Theft Auto 5 save editor. Um, all the proper links will be in the description. I highly suggest downloading it yourself and, uh, and having some fun. So here we are in a laser, a jet that I, you know, I messed with the paint a little bit. Um, what I did is I, I used the editor to mod my current vehicle and then I used the location editor to mod my location to this spot. Um, keep in mind that as long as you do not touch the brake trigger or the accelerator trigger you won't move. You'll just hang out here, you can even switch, through, uh, switch your weapons and shoot at it if you want but it'll leave a mark so for the video's sake I'm gonna not do that. So what you wanna do after you've um, after you've loaded your save into the editor and changed your personal or your current vehicle to the laser you're going to want to um, change your location uh, if you look directly underneath the character's picture on the save editor, you'll notice an icon that looks like an upside down water drop. Click on that, and for this ship, you want to enter in the coordinates 2490 for X, 3700 for Y zero for the Z coordinate and your elevation is going to be set to 2400 <clears throat> round all the decimals to zero so I've got a bunch of snapshots um, I was messing around with the camera a lot with this now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the elevation a bit wait till nighttime and get a real nice view of the underside of this thing all lit up at night. So stick tight and we'll be there in a minute. Alright, so now we're here underneath this UFO. Um, <clears throat> I dropped it like 20 feet. I figured that should give us enough room. And let's take a close up here. You can see the uh, the door keeps opening and closing. The light keeps going on and off. There's not much you can see at night though. The detail is uh, obscured by the dark. So anyway that's that now on to the Fort Zancudo UFO alright so here we are at the Fort Zancudo UFO or as I like to call it the really cool looking one um, coordinates for this UFO are um, X is going to be negative 2050 Y is 3160 Z is going to be 0 and the elevation is going to be 1445 feet all numbers are rounded to zero for the decimal 
and you can tweak this you can push it a little bit further left to get it dead center if you like but I figured for the sake of the video this was just fine so you can take your time you can have a look um, you know raise the elevation lower the elevation change your angle sky's the limit so to speak but yeah there's really not much else to this um, again I'd like to remind you that your jet will remain stationary until you either press one of the triggers or eject you can switch weapons you can shoot the UFO doesn't seem too phased by it it's just hanging out if anyone from Rockstar is uh, watching this um, I want that I do, I want that right there. A lot. I want to fly it. Okay? I'm pretty sure a lot of people do. So, anyway. Again, all of this was made possible by an awesome Grand Theft Auto 5 save editor. Again, all the proper links will be in the description. Go pick it up, test it out, have some fun like I'm having. Um, yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was fun to watch. Hope it was helpful. Write those coordinates down. Um, my name is Lunchbox, and stay tuned because I'm not done yet. <laughs>